All right, this is the stadium. 50% done, maybe? I don't know. We'll just do like a tour of it and then just kind of continue building it. This whole stadium has staircases like this. Leads out to these risers right here. Other than customize, I would say there's like a lot of features that you would not see in normal builds. So right here on this floor, we've actually got, you know, standard food and stuff. But on this floor, you actually have this kind of like cool little window next to this bar that also kind of transitions to the outside downtown area. Um, you know, it even has like restrooms and everything, uh, concession stands, you know, different entries and different views like throughout these entire risers right here it doesn't look like it but like there's a, sh a lot of risers up there that can all see the baseball field wherever you are even if you're way the fuck up here you can still see the field but that's not the case for like the entire stadium obviously there's like a few spots where you can't like right here you've got club seating so even then you can't see the field the entire way and that's kind of true with club seats when you're inside of them you don't really see the field unless you're way up right here <clears throat> uh, and then you've got a few little risers in between that kind of splitting the other ones you've got two large screens right here and this one's pretty sick because you can actually see the score if from the downtown streets you can actually see the giant plasma screens from the from the sidewalks um, and there's another one right here <clears throat> and uh, eventually this will be closed but for now that actually kind of looks cool because it kind of shows you the process of making the stadium and just uh, marking down every floor and these these uh, glowstones will actually stay there forever you get you get such good lighting down here because I'm able to you know put glowstone under everything and then just slap some slabs right there and boom but I mean but a boom you got lighting instead of putting like torches everywhere throughout this place I'd rather you know rise bring up the height and depth of everything and have really good lighting underneath and it and it's underneath the uh, the stairways as well so you've got plenty of lighting eventually this will have lighting all across it uh, you've got little water features and stuff like that throughout the stadium as well like down here underneath this staircase arches all around kind of blends in with the rest of the um, downtown kind of brick theme uh, and even at the very top You've got like this little monitor piece here that lets you see out into the uh, residential zone. And that even has kind of like a glass ceiling area. And it even has like locker rooms and everything underneath. So this is like the dugout right here for the home team underneath. And you've got like this locker room area and then from there you actually have like this little hallway that takes you to the interviewing room and then the you know opposing team the away team also has their own entryway to that and then uh you know media or whoever you know photographers journalists would actually come in through here and they've got you know a couple restrooms and their own private entry to that area and uh, over here you even have like this equipment area so it's like a enlarged door here and it even has like this kind of little private water feature that you can even see from up here on these risers uh, and eventually I'm actually gonna be tunneling so there, this right here is gonna continue and tunnel into here and eventually take you all the way around to the other side of the stadium right here bridging eventually kind of just bridges right there but yeah this thing is insane and it, believe it or not it's actually not the first stadium i've ever built 
on Minecraft. But yeah, let's just start off with this corner. Uh, work on this here. All right, so right here, you don't really want people getting in or out, so you kind of want high leveled um, windows. We also want it to feel open. So you can't really even like jump over that, so that's perfect. We don't have to like finish the floors and the ceilings today, but uh, we're just gonna kind of focus on the outside and that's just gonna be a marker for us for later. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, this is, that's, that's gonna be better. Uh, I'd actually have to fill that one in too. Okay, there we go. No, I got it. <clears throat> All right, um, now it's gonna change directions. So like the windows kind of just change directions right there. All right, um, yeah, we could just kind of outline that with that black and then the black brick. And I might even do the same thing at the top. All right, cool. So you've got another kind of like big outline there. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's cool. Do that. Do that. Top it off with that. And then put another window next to that. So it's got to be like a full... S okay, yeah, it just goes in with that. That is correct. Cool. So the next one is... So we gotta do... Fill that in. Yeah, just so that it's not just all black brick patterns all around. Damn, that's crazy, dude. <laughs> There's so much detail into that. I was, like, when I first made this, I was expecting it to just be like this. The entire way up. But then I just kind of, when I was working over there on the on all of that, and then started right here, I just I kind of realized this stadium has a lot of nice exterior views, so it'd be it'd be kind of shitty to just only put those brick, those like really square windows, because we kind of already did that a lot right here, so we don't really have to do that. I always like looking at the stadiums at these stages because. You know, you can see everything underneath. That's gonna be the subway station right there. Over here, what's this? Underground shops and subway. Oh, okay, I see. So I'm thinking about, I was thinking about making this like a whole underground, like shopping area under the stadium and all the walkway of the stadium. Or I can just make it just like downward steps to like little viewing areas. Or I could, um, so like big thinking here. So like the way into the city previously was from taking this river right here. Okay. But um, now I have a canal that runs under the entire city which actually actually takes you to like this giant port and I've kind of always had this problem of okay like there's this giant port for boats uh, the finished ports are gonna look all like this with a bit more of coloring and coloring and lighting more boats sure you can take the subway from here so there's, there's gonna be a subway station here that can take you all the way around here, all the way around the residentials. So those arches there are actually part of the subway, uh, part of the ra railway, which takes you all the way to the baseball stadium. But I always wonder if there was a way, so instead of having to take a boat from the ocean all the way, even from the canal all the way there, and then taking the subway all the way there, if there could be a, like a better way to do that, so I could, and now that I look at this, the best place to do it would be put a canal, an exterior canal, not underground like the other one, but put like an exterior canal that comes in and goes through here <clears throat> and branches off into this river and then just kind of have like another like mini port 
for like people to like park their boats because like this this Minecraft world has no roads, no like fake little cars built into them or anything. It's like it's all sidewalks and railways and you know Minecraft transportation and boats all over here. You can have docks and right here have docks. All right here could be a huge like docking area. And yeah, that would pretty much be it. And probably have like a viewing platform right here. Yeah, I think that's pretty much gonna do it for this one. Kind of just adding to the stadium and giving you guys a, like an introduction to what the rest of the stadium looks like. So I'm always gonna kind of be able to reference to this video. All right, if you want the tour of the stadium, you can always reference this video. But as we work on the stadium from here on out, it's just gonna be kind of continuing where we are. So the next video, we're probably gonna work on that like dock, docking area. And there could even be like a bridge going from here to there and then start working on all those walls and like arches that go underneath this. So a lot of like time lapse kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, that'll pretty much do it for this one. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.